Oh my wheel at Target. And let's see what they have today. And uh, not looking so good. Org, Snoke, and a ton of Snoke. And let's see. Yeah, whole lot of nothing. Okay, let's go ahead to the other side and see what else they have. All right. Hey, look, give me that sign, that Star Wars sign, actually. Let's go see. All right. All right, some wrestlers, but nothing new. And yeah, Justice League. Hella, finally. And a Lady Thor. So. Yeah, can't get no better than that. And it's cheaper here than LCS. But, let's see. Now I see all the Metal Rangers starting to show up everywhere. Hoping we'll get them soon. And let's see. Uh, hmm. Whole lot of nothing. Same ones. Yeah. Not for that price. Still got these ones, but as you can see, ours is empty as it can get on Star Wars, especially the new Black Series stuff. So, um, yeah, nothing. Let's see. And yeah. And that's it, people. So, not too bad. Found a hella in that one. So, Lady Thor. All right, nostalgic. That one's uh, that one's yours. Hello, my people. It is your redneck from Cali Nate, and we got some stuff. We got some stuff in the mail, and we did go buy Hypnos and pay for our books for the week. So, without further ado, let's check what we got. So, first thing we got Legacy. This is a, a previews book. I'm kind of going over what Legacy will do. Um, in the upcoming months, so definitely pretty cool. Uh, I was trying to see real fast. Wanted to see if it showed. Uh, yeah, here we go. And checklist. So the old days used to get this. This makes it a lot easier than trying to figure out which one goes to what. So, I'm definitely appreciative of this. So, thank you. And then we got... Ooh. We got our uh, comic shop news. And it's for 
Eternity number one. So, this looks like, alright, we got to open this one up. This, this is interesting. If I could read, I can read. Um, it kind of looks like, looking almost like an Alex Ross slash Jack Kirby combination. So, pretty awesome. Alright, on to the good stuff. So, um, as you guys know, Legacy is coming for Marvel, where they're going to reset the numbers on a lot of the books out there, and kind of get us back to the normal that we were before. Um, with that preset they did to push generations. So, this week's generations is Iron Man. This is Iron Man, Iron Heart, number one. These are all one shots, so there's not going to be anything after it. Uh, of course, this is the variant cover. And then, um, it's Jack Kirby's 100th uh, birthday. So, with that, I picked up the variant with the Jack Kirby version of Iron Man and Ironheart. So, definitely want, can't wait to read that one. Okay, now if you've been reading Edge of Spider-Verse, um, I didn't read all of it. I only read the first issue, and now I've got to read the rest of them. They're, it's, it's an amazing run. Uh, excuse me, with that being said though, Venomverse has started. So think Spider-Verse, you know, like we had before. So, this one is Venomverse War Stories. Number one, the variant cover. And then, Venomverse number one, the variant cover. Now, this is going to be the ones I collect because I want to get this wrap around. Because this is going to be extended all the way around between all the issues. So, that is a freaking awesome book. Um, of course, X-Books came out this week too. So, we got Generation X. And then... X-Men Gold, number 11. As you can see, yes, Omega Red has returned in the X-Men world. Um, even cooler though, is the variant from this week. And this variant is X-Men. This is their world. And this is an homage to the Queen cover. So, yeah, I will be picking up those. I love rock and roll variants. And then, this is just a cool cover. Um, this has been a really good read. Astonishing X-Men, and yes, Wolverine and his different incantations, or different versions, you know, if you get as being John Hallett, Weapon X, Brown Suit Wolverine, then Old Man Logan, like he is today. So yeah, that's the books we got today from, from the shop. Um, but, without further ado, let's get and see what's in these things. And this is coming from my boy, uh, Jerome Wallace. So, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for shipping these out to me. Um, I've been having fun with that lately. I've been doing grading and stuff on online auctions. So, it's been a, it's been fun helping out guys to do that. Get to, get to see some cool books and stuff. Um, so, it's always a blessing. And I'm glad I can help out. Um, I do want to give a shout out to all the new moderators in the syndicate um, that just got picked up. So, congrats, boys. Keep it, keep it real. Keep it safe. All right, man. He put enough tape on this thing last lifetime. Well, I can appreciate that because that means it's going to be safe. It means we nothing wrong with these things, which I appreciate that. And let's see if Nate can get the paper off. And there we go. <laughs> so, talking about Venom, we got this Scotty Young Venom 150. This is the variant one. Um, of course, Venom 150 is where they started it back again in the regular numbers, so pick up Venom. Venom and the Venomverse go together, so you'll definitely want to get that one. And then, he had this one. Now this is going to seem different to everybody. This is Absolute Vertigo. 
And the reason why I got this is because I've been watching um, AMC's Preacher. I read that series a long time ago. Never had this issue. And what this is, guys, is the Absolute Vertigo Winter 1995 first appearance of The Preacher. They have like about like six or seven page stories in here. Um, so definitely wanted to add this to the list. It's not that expensive. I think I can give a dollar or two dollars for it or something like that. But I've always wanted this one. So thank you. Thank you, Jerome. All right. So, shaky, shaky. Um, this one's coming from my boy, Jaime Velasquez. Uh, you guys probably saw the picture on the syndicate. He had, he had picked this up for me a while back. Um, he sent it to me. Uh, we've been doing trades for a long time, I think. I want to say a long time. Um, but he found these for me. Um, so, yeah. Let's just see what, see what Jaime sent Nate. Because, because he always sends me good stuff. He always finds stuff. He always finds things like I'll say something in a video, he'll find it. Uh, and I can't find it nowhere. Oh, okay. yeah. Got us some good old bubble wrap. Make sure these things are safe. I appreciate that. So, what we got, people, is the Golden Slave One, Boba Fett Slave One. And then, we also got, now I had passed, I saw this once and passed up on it like an idiot. And I should have just picked it up. Um, but that was my stupid fault. But luckily, Jamie saved my bacon. Because I wanted this one. Star Wars. And these are Hot Wheels, of course. These are their... This is the Millennium Falcon. It goes with it. Um, and... I, got, I like these. I don't collect a lot of these, but these are gold. You know, these are like something different, you know. So like the, uh, the Milana, you know, from Guardians of the Galaxy that Fernie hooked me up with, you know. It's one of those things where it's like, it's different enough that I'll collect it. Um, so, yeah. Now, we have two boxes. So, um, this one is from my boy Josh Pence. So, Josh, if you're watching, you need to go f a little bit further in the video and not see what's in this box. Um, and I'll probably put a tag tag in here it says Josh skip to if you want to see it because this is for him um as you guys know I got dubbed the syndicate Santa a long time ago because I can pretty much find anything um, I do better of course when it's not you know wicked old um, but I told Josh I had this for him um, I saw this and you know Thinking about him and Sensi on this one. Uh, but but I know if I know Josh, he ain't gonna wait, he's gonna watch it. So and I wanted to show this to everybody else too. So let me get this out of here. Yeah. You might have an idea what it is. But I don't think you know what it is. Um, and I don't know how I found it either. Really, I don't. It was just luck and chance. And by the way, this is from shopgoodwill.com. So, um, you guys probably remember I had found some great stuff out there. Some old legends and stuff like that from them. Never thought I'd find something like this, though. Yeah, I found a sideshow. I'm going to give you kind of a tour of the box. Yeah. 
We have a Sideshow Collectibles. Um, yeah, I did not expect to find this at all. There's a little bit of piece of tape here. And of course it's got the, the standard magnets. And it's cool because it's kind of got like this little story thing. You know, and it's got the extra weapons and, and display stand in here. So yeah. So yeah, Josh, this is for you, bro. All right. Last but not least, story time. Story time. And as you can see, what this is, yes, right there. Um, yeah. So, um, I, I get the Collector's Corpse and I get the Legion of Collector's Boxes. I love Marvel and DC. But my Marvel box got lost. Um, so, I emailed Funko. And they're going to send me a replacement one. I mean, it said it got forwarded, I think, on the 13th or 14th from Georgia to here. Still haven't seen it, so it's lost. Um, but this one made it to me. Thank goodness. Um, so if you don't want to see what's in here, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you don't want to, like, ruin, you know, what's going to be in here. Um, I always try to caveat that with these boxes because some people just like the surprise. I do. I like the surprise of seeing what's inside of these. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, but, if you do want to see, then I'll show you. I'll show you what's in the box. Um, man, this one's tight. Okay. Alright, look at the tour. You've got the designs on the inside. Of course, this is all the old school. This is like um, 70s and 80s ones. So, freaking awesome. Um, and, alright, so the next one is the League. And then, of course, on the back, this is what's, of course, in the box. So, what we have. <laughs> It's a luggage tag, but it's a Joker luggage tag. And this is um, exactly the same look that they had from that uh, Joker from Walgreens. So that's freaking awesome. Uh, we got... Alright, so Legion of Collectors, Black Mana, Patch. Stickers. We got some stickers. Those are going to Ava to play with. She can, Ava and John can put those on something. And then, we got us a shirt. Now, this one, I think it was called like the Villains Box. Yeah, I think this was like the Villains Box set or something like that. But, uh, let's see. Okay, most wanted box set. As I show you the back side of the shirt, not showing the front side. I'll bring it up close so you can see. Uh, you got Ares, Lex Luthor, Joker, Captain Cold, Black Mana, and Sinestro. So, freaking awesome. You guys did amazing. I always love their shirts. Shirts, not socks, Funko. Don't give us that Wonder Woman thing like you did before. That was horrible. I think they've learned from that because they haven't seen one since then. But on the goodness, on the other goodies they sent us. And the box isn't jacked up for once. You got Bane. This is definitely different from the other one. Um, and then we got Lex Luthor and a mech suit. And this is like a metallic mix with like plastic. It's just like, it's kind of cool. Like the purple is in metallic. So yeah. 
not too shabby. So yeah, that's been the haul in pickups. Um, oh, and I did have one more thing. Let's see. I'm not gonna. It'll knock everything else, but I did get a hella the other day. So I've got that one, and I know uh, my boy Daniel sent me a hella, a bullseye, and a uh, blade, which blade will finish up man thing who's standing on one leg back there. Um, so yeah, we're almost at 800 guys. If you if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and then send it to your buddies, send it to your friends, send it to your family. Come on, come in and watch Nate. So um, it's been a great great week so far we'll see what else we get throughout the week I mean today's Thursday so who knows who knows what we'll find all right guys y'all take it easy now have a good one all right